Hey survivors, welcome back to Sona Awareness. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Today I want to talk about narcissists and change, but I call this type of change because um, it appears like they're reinventing themselves or it appears that they have, you know, taken on a new approach and um, this can be, this can be very deceitful uh, because, you know, it seems like they're doing the right things um, ethically and they're stepping up to the plate. So, uh, you know, it kind of feels like you should give them another chance. And just um, a lot of people like to see people change. You know, they like to see um, we like to see people doing the right things. It just feels good. Uh, maybe they're paying their child support on time and, you know, just doing the right things that they never done before. So um, I want to talk about that. And, you know, what's really going on, you know, why they appear to have reinvented themselves or why it seems like they're changed. But before I get into that, I want to um, thank you all for tuning in. And um, anybody that's new here, thank you guys for joining us. Um, and, you know, I make a lot of videos about um, child custody and just things of that nature um from the co-parenting aspect and um just check those out guys and um anybody that's been here um supporting this channel i want to really thank you guys so much for um tuning back in into it um you know once again we see narcissists um you know it seems like their pattern of behavior pretty much has improved we like to see their behavior improve because it makes us feel good, especially um, if you're in a relationship with them or you're parenting with them. You you don't um, you don't feel like you have to go through with punishing them because they're stepping up to the plate. So it seems, you know, uh, but it's kind of like it's really what's really going on here. It's a, a temporary thing. It's a it's they're taking on a new mask. You know, it's not something that's realistic they are um basically just taking on a, a temporary uh, mass you know there it's not permanent they um actually are hoping to get this from you these things they're hoping that you're going to you know give them attention or they're going to get supply from you know other people by um being around the kids more often or being out in public they're going to get that attention and it recognition from other people and you know just just apply that praise so um this behavior you have to really uh understand what's really going on here because as victims and you know people that have been through this for a while you know that if they are suddenly paying child support on time and they have haven't paid child support in months or years you know and all of a sudden they're paying this on time and um, following the rules and the laws. Basically, what's happening here is that they realize it's time to kind of flip the script on you. It's the right time to to change something about themselves because, you know, they may be going to court. You may be taking them to court for, um, you know, for um, child support, being behind in payments, or it may even be a restraining order that you're getting to try to get some help with them stalking you and um you you want them to stop doing the things that they're doing obviously nobody wants to be stopped or followed or you know you just don't want to deal with that it's very it's very very difficult thing to deal with always having to watch your back and just trying to get somebody to just leave you alone so you know it's the right timing it's almost amazing how they can really pick and choose the right timing to do these things because they are planners they really do plan a lot of things and um i want to call it image management as far as what they're doing image impression because the image um management is like they want to manage how people perceive them how their image is it's very very important to them along with their ego you know they don't want to go in front of a judge and get just torn apart you know ripped apart they don't want that you know they want to look good. So, of course, they're changing the narrative right now by making payments on time right before you get to court. So it's just, it's no coincidence, basically. That's what I'm saying. It's not a coincidence that they're doing these things. 
and um, dropping the restraining order. Those of you that have to deal with those unfortunate issues um, that are very, very tough, very, very difficult, uh, never, ever, 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 ever drop a restraining order or anything against the narcissist. Let them face the music up to the things that they've done to you. I know it may um, feel bad, even if they never had a restraint order against them before or whatever the case is. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the thing that matters is they can be doing this or they're going to do this to somebody else in the future. It's because of their because they're so controlling, you know, and they're so abusive. They're going to do this to somebody else in the future. So if you have that voice and you have to be the one that stands up, don't feel bad about it, you know. Just let your story tell your story and never drop a restraining order or work out a deal. Make them make sure they get the punishments that they deserve for the actions that they've done. So like I was saying, um, you know, when it comes to responsibilities and really caring, you know, narcissists don't have empathy. So, you know, that's not sincere. You know, they're not sincere about in their actions uh, about the things that they're doing you know these are some of the most manipulative individuals they um they they are very 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 manipulative they need to manipulate every single situation they need things to go the way that they want them to go that's called controlling they need the outcome of things to be going the way that they want them to be they want to control every outcome every situation so they they plan they put things together that's why it's very important, you know, if you're dealing with them, especially in a legal arena, to um, to pretty much always have a plan also because they have a plan. They're, if a narcissist is taking you to court, they have a plan. They have it, it down to the T. You know, they probably have papers and things written on their walls just to put the plan in motion. They are very, um, they can be very, very organized when it comes to you know, when it comes to manipulating others, especially the legal system, because they don't want to um, be held accountable for anything. So um, they really, you know, it's it's really important to stay no contact and um, gray, walk, gray rock if you've already done so with these individuals, because they get fuel from being out there and interacting with you and then flipping things around on you. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where um, you're forgiving them, but you're forgetting, you're forgiving them and forgetting all the things, you just putting it to the back of your mind. Everything that they've done, you have to keep it right there because they have a pattern of doing the same things. They have a pattern of being abusive. They have a pattern of switching jobs. You, I mean, I know you heard it all the time. They have a pattern of you know, being cheaters, they have a pattern of doing the same things. You know, they're, they're wolves, they're sharks. So they're going to do the same things over and over and over and over again. They don't change. They don't change at all. They can temporarily change um, because they have an agenda. It's some type of motive that they have and they're working on that, they're working on, they have a plan, you know, basically because changing requires pretty much for people to change. It requires accepting that you have issues and um narcissists don't won't do that you know uh they they don't see themselves as having issues that's why a lot of people say they don't get help and you know they just hide behind different masks because that's that's what works for them that's what they're comfortable with doing they're comfortable with having masks on and switching them out as um need be so you know in their masks they have like the perfect charming they can be perfect be charming um Whoever they want to be, successful, popular, you know, all these false personas, you know, and they can't accept the real person that's inside of them, the real them, you know, they never, never change, you know, um, they just try to find a different way to a different method, you know, they're so shady, um, they're so shady legally and uh, ethically you know they're so shady you cannot trust anything one thing that they say or that they're doing one action it's all just different masks you know and i think um as us being empathetic individuals it's so easy for us to fall into that and try to um give them a second chance but they don't deserve it because they they don't change you know they they're just trying to find a new route to take to um manipulate you again basically so 
if they have this behavior, I don't care if they're suddenly paying, making their payments on time when it comes to the child support or something like that, or if they got remarried and they seem to take care of the kids that they have with their new spouse, but they don't want to take care of your kids. I mean, they, they trying to, they're starting to take care of your kids and being around. They're just trying to show a different side. It's, it's a motive. It's an agenda. They always have an agenda. It's always something. It's always, it's never, they don't do things for just without a reasoning or a motive behind it. It's always an agenda for them. You know, they're always going to be lying. They're always going to be abusive people, cheating, um, manipulating just to get what they want. They are very um, selfish and deceitful. They have a deceitful pattern. So nothing changes. Don't fall for the change. And, and what's so messed up about us is that um, we live in a society that teaches us to forgive people, um, give them an extra chance. And they really don't teach you out here how to really protect yourself from your enemies you know how to protect yourself emotionally and um physically they just teach you that especially in the court systems because they give you they give narcissists such a slap on the wrist because they want to see change you know and they have all these programs and and you know they try to help people but narcissists the thing is that they don't change you know so it, it really sucks because um people don't like to hear a lot of drama and chaos, you know, and and a lot of times it's hard for people to really believe that you just went through all of this. This person lies so much and they're doing all these crazy things. It's hard for people to just accept it. They just think that you'll hear all the time. Well, you, you guys need to work it out or maybe you can figure it out because it's it's about um, just forgiveness or it's about the children. You know, it's not about you, too. And you're thinking to yourself, I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to protect myself, you know. So it's just a lack of understanding in our society because things are definitely different now. Things are definitely different with narcissists around. You know, they these individuals, they lie all the time. They use and manipulate people. And a lot of people don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. So that's what that's what sucks about all of this forgiveness. You know, you can forgive, but never, ever, ever forget what narcissists have done to you. Never, ever forget their patterns of behaviors because they're going to do the same things again over and over again, you know, um, they're going to hurt you. And as soon as you get your life back, your health back, you know, avoid them. Just keep on staying, no contact, keep on staying gray rock, doing, doing whatever you have to do, you know? Um, but they, the point is, the main point is that they don't change. They're going to be the same individuals. Don't fall for the reinvention of themselves. It's just temporarily, it's just another mask that they've taken on. Um, because there, there's a motive, there's an agenda behind it. So, um, don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of again by a very cruel, a very um, manipulative person. Don't allow yourself to be taken advantage and used up over and over again. So that's um, pretty much what I have to say, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this. Um, have you seen a narcissist try to reinvent themselves or change or their behavior? And tell me, um, just tell me in the comments below, guys. And um, just keep spreading awareness, guys. I can't imagine um, how many people that don't have this information available to them and just still don't know how to deal with what they've been dealing with. And, and, um, I know it's still a lot of people out there. So it's important that we keep on, um, connecting with each other. And it's very important to get this information out there because we all are dealing with, you know, narcissism more and more every day. So it's important to protect yourself. So I will, um, see you guys later.